Hi there, in my first video on Stepic and FL Studio, I was saying how I couldn't get it to work with the instruments and the synths, etc., that you find in FL Studio itself. And I'm talking about things like Flex and Mini Synth Harmless, that kind of thing. So I came up with a solution using a device in FL Studio, which is called Patcher. So I'm going to show you how to use that. I've got an empty project here with just one thing in the channel rack. So I'm in the browser here. I'm going to drag in an instance of Stepic VST, like this. Over in the MIDI play here, I'm going to set this to not note on, but sync to host. So with the MIDI play set to sync to host, when I press play in FL Studio, Stepic will run, which is fine. Let's set this output on this to naught and you'll see why in a moment. Ordinarily, you'd think you'd just be able to drag in the synth that you want and hook it up to Stepic and it would be fine. And that works fine for third-party plugins, but it doesn't work for the instruments inside FL Studio. So you need a device called Patcher. And here it is, I'm gonna drag it in. And once it's dragged in, this is what it looks like. Now, the synth in FL Studio that you want to use, you need to drag into this area here. I want to use Flex, so I'm going to drag that in like that. And you think that if I just press play, everything would work fine, but it really doesn't because first of all, I've got to set from FL Studio to Output, Events and MIDI Port 0. And it still doesn't work because there's something else I have to do. Now I found that if I go into this and I turn off notes, obviously it won't work at the moment because it's become disconnected. So reconnect it, now it's working. And obviously if we go to the Stepic device, you can hear that the length is set too long for this particular sound. So we'll just hold control, drag these durations down and we're up and running. So that's how you get devices in FL Studio to work with Stepic using Patcher. You put the FL device inside Patcher. The two FL Studio over here, you don't have to worry about. I've found changing this doesn't make any difference at all. As you can see, it's not actually attached to anything, but that doesn't seem to matter. It still works fine. It's the from FL Studio side that is important. So just right click that, go to outputs, events, turn notes off, put it on MIDI port 0. Remember that was the port that Stepic was set to, you see? And that works really well. And that works for all of the internal synths and instruments in FL Studio with Stepic. Hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching and you'll see me in my next video.